Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about The Patient, episode 5. There will be spoilers, so there is your warning there. This episode was probably the most intense one yet, and I'm just so impressed by how this show has managed to keep the amount of locations and the amount of characters and really the overall storyline pretty simple. I mean, almost every scene has taken place in the basement room and as the episodes have gone on we've kind of branched out a little bit more and gotten to see more points of view and in this episode we get to see a lot more of Sam and he has now gone to visit his ex-wife and they kind of seem to have a sweet relationship. I don't really know why they got divorced. It doesn't seem like she knows that he is a serial killer, but I don't know, maybe she does. And it seems like, weirdly, like, the scenes with his wife seemed like a sort of romantic comedy drama. Like, it seemed like a completely different show. And then we flip back to our actual show, which is this intense hostage thriller. So, Alan in this episode is talking more to Elias and they're trying to kind of figure out ways to possibly escape, but Alan tells Elias, he's like, there's a chance that I may not make it out of here, so then he kind of tells Elias some things to tell his children, and he says a lot of things, and I don't know why he didn't just do the same thing that Elias did and tell Elias to tell his kids that he loves them because as Alan says in the last episode, I think that's the main point. And I think that's a very profound line, as I mentioned before. But it, it, it does just kind of sum it all up. I mean, just telling his kids that he loves them. Obviously, spoiler alert, Elias won't be the one telling Alan's kids anything because Elias doesn't make it out alive. At least I don't think he does. So Sam comes back to his house with the chair. I don't know how he managed to carry that by himself, but anyways, he gets back to the basement sort of room and he's saying how it didn't really help talking to his wife. You know, he says it was nice talking to her, but it didn't really distract him at least not long enough, but there gets to a point where Sam's like, you know what, I'm just gonna kill him. It's like the way that Sam acts sometimes is like a child. He's just like, I can't do this anymore. It's like he throws a tantrum and he's just like, I'm gonna kill him. I can't do it anymore. Um, but he does get pretty close to killing Elias and then Alan's like yelling for his mother to come down here. He's like, and let me just say, Steve Carell has been great in this show, but I mean, this episode he was quite exceptional in. And the actor, Dom, Domino Hall, I don't know how to say his first name, Dom Hall Gleason, who plays Sam, also does a great job. But I mean, Steve Carell in this episode was just excellent. But anyways, Sam's mom comes downstairs and is like, Sam, you're supposed to be protecting me. This is not protecting me. <laughs> and it's just so weird. I don't know what she's doing. Later in the episode, when a similar thing happens, she doesn't come downstairs and she's just kind of like in her bed, just kind of sitting there. I don't know if she woke up and a little bit too late and was like, well, I guess it's too late now, or if she's just kind of afraid of Sam. We find out that there, at least Alan suspects there's a little bit more to the story with Sam's father, and I definitely think that's true. I don't know if Sam killed his father, or if his mother killed his father, or if he just left. I mean, did he, do we know if he's alive or not? I'm not really sure. So, Elias asked Alan to kind of bring him into the therapy session, which I think is a maybe a good idea in theory, but not under these circumstances. And I feel like Alan should have known that 
wasn't going to work out. I think it was the last episode where Alan wanted Sam to turn off the sound machine and I'm like, okay, Alan, why are you doing that? I know you like want to talk to Elias and that's like probably really painful for Elias to be tied up or, you know, have tape around his eyes and all he's hearing is this loud sound machine. But at the same time, that's better than him being murdered. But Alan comes up with a reason to bring Elias into the therapy session. Again, at that moment, when he's like bringing Elias in, I'm like, oh my gosh, is he gonna already kill him now? But he didn't yet. <laughs> but anyways, he brings him into the session and it's just like, even if Sam wasn't a serial killer, this would be such a hard conversation to just talk to somebody that you don't get along with. Like that's already hard enough. And to actually like hear them out, like, come on, Alan, like, what are you thinking now? Just regardless of Sam being a serial killer, it's that's hard enough, but Sam tries for a second. He's like, I mean, you can sort of see in this picture, he's like scrunched in his chair, just like trying to listen, sort of, but that doesn't work. <laughs> Sam's just like, I can't do it. I can't do it. And he's just kind of freaking out. And I was just like, Sam, calm down. And then he just kind of like attacks Elias and strangles him. And that's when Alan is again yelling for Sam's mother to come down, but she does not come down. And I, this is kind of a weird detail to point out, but I think a lot of times in TV shows and movies when somebody's being like choked to death or whatever, um, it's like not for long enough. I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> just want to point that out. I wouldn't really know, but it doesn't seem like it's ever long enough, and that's probably because it's like a PG-13 movie. This is not PG-13, so they kind of really have it be a long choke out, which I don't know what I'm trying to say. I appreciate the authenticity of this murder. I don't know what I'm saying, but anyways, again, Steve Carell's performance is just incredible he's like just freaking out i was kind of like why isn't he why doesn't he just kind of push sam or something <laughs> but then i guess that would put him at in at risk but then at the same time it's like okay alan what are you trying to do i know he's just trying to get out but like i don't know i feel like he could have done something but at the same time he was probably just in absolute shock and terror and fear and that was a lot to take in. But we did kind of get another scene of Sam separate from Alan. It's interesting seeing these scenes with Sam and he was kind of in his room listening to music, doing some other things that I don't really know what that had to do with the plot. But anyways, I think he, it was just showing he was trying to distract himself from wanting to kill Elias, but that's pretty much what happened in this episode. Now there is a dead body in the room, so that's rough. There were some like breathing noises at the end, but I think they were from Alan just kind of freaking out, but I don't know, for a second I thought maybe that was Elias because I didn't really, it didn't seem like it was coming from Alan, but I don't know, I think it probably was. Anywho, <laughs> let me know in the comments what you thought of this episode. We are now halfway through the season or the series, I guess. So let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen next. They keep adding on more elements and layers, and I think it's becoming a really interesting show. And if you would like, you can check out my Instagram where I do some more reviews and sort of things. And you can check out my other videos if you want. And you can like, subscribe, comment, and share if you want. But whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Thank you everyone so much for watching and God bless.